So how long have you been drawing comic books? Since I was about seven years old, little kid. What would your parents think about it? They hated it. They hated it. Oh, yeah. After I, I got a job and they saw that you can make a living out of third day, you'll hear no complaints anymore. And you created X-Force? Mm -hmm. So what is this drawing of? This is the Spike Man. And what's this right here? This is the camera on top of your head that will record the wrongdoings of others. So Rob, have you had any formal art training? No. Just uh, a lot of imagination, I think. Wait, so, so I say it and then look down? Or just open it and say it? Deadpool. No, that's not how we do things. Yeah, yeah, you I, I, do I, it. I, 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 I got to do, do, do your thing. thing. Here's the deal. When I go to shows now, especially with these kids, they weren't alive when we were selling millions of comics. Right. So what I do is I tell people a little about my career. That's what I start. Um, I uh, grew up uh, with no other skills but to draw comic books. And uh, so uh, my mom was very concerned about me. My dad was okay with it. Uh, when I graduated high school, the clock went off because I absolutely had to draw comics. Um, I got into comics. Weirdly enough, I'm the son of a pastor. And uh, the Old Testament is very violent. And uh, I couldn't believe that all these characters died. I'm like, there's no further adventures of Samson? So uh, I was like, wait a second, he's dead? And, and David died? And so anyway, then I got into comics. I'm like, this is what it's about. Superman never died. And uh, like I said, I started drawing. I'd go to conventions like this. I'd meet people. And uh, long story short, high school, I uh, had like one year to break in in my head. Because I, I, I was w working. Three jobs, and those of you who are trying to work in, I work construction, uh, delivered pizzas, and uh, was a was a uh, uh, the guy who cleans up your dishes at the restaurant. Um, uh, bus, a bus boy. Yeah. Um, and every night and on the weekends, uh, I would I would uh, construction was six days a week, but I used I used all my time to draw, draw, draw. Broke in at a very young age, uh, 28 years now. I've been in the business. Uh, was hired by Marvel and DC at the same show. And uh, I went and did a, a book for DC Comics called Hawk and Dove. And back then, I didn't know how well it was doing. But then they showed me, they printed the letters in uh, the letters page in issue three. And they were always yelling at me, ah, oh, Rob, you're not good enough, Rob, blah, blah, blah. It's okay, I was a young guy, I needed it. And then I read in the letters page, we love Rob Life. I'm like, hey, they don't hate me. You, artists are insecure, so all you see is they don't hate me. Awesome. Um, then I got a call to come work in the X-Men office. And, uh, that was a life-changing moment. Um, they offered me X-Factor, and for those of you who don't know, it's the original X-Men, and I said, I am not good enough to draw them. But the new mutants was going down. It was, it was about to uh, be canceled. And I said, uh, I'll take that book, um, and you should go back and see the issues before, before me. There was a guy with a big bird head, um, and his name was Bird Brains, or something like that. And uh, it, was, it was really weird, it was a strange book. And they let me come in and, and create this new teacher called Cable. And, uh, he had, he had, uh, yes, thank you, Cable is awesome. And, and he will, when he appears on screen, we're all gonna nerdgasm. Because he's coming. They can't hold him back. Uh, yes, he's coming. And, uh, so anyway, from there, a couple issues in, the sales, um, went from cancellation to the second highest X-Men book. And then they said, Rob, would you like to write the book? And I'm like, uh, yes. Um, so, uh, I had a couple of young guys who were trying, uh, Scott Lobel, Fabian Nicieza, and I forget the other guy, they were always going, Rob, let's do something together, let's do something together. And, uh, I went eeny, meeny, my notes. I, 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 Fabian edged out Scott, we got along a little better, so Fabian joined me for the ride. New Mutants 98, which has skyrocketed, uh, was done because I was like, this is my first time writing, I have to load the barrel. I've got to, like, they already like cable. What am I going to do next with my follow-up? And like I said, we were uh, now selling like 800,000 copies, an obscene amount of copies. And uh, so when you look at that cover, and you look at Deadpool, and Gideon, or Gideon, and Domino, that was me, like, yeah. loading. Like, one of these has got to work. Uh, so uh, we introduced all three characters that same issue. And one of those books sold 4 million copies. Oh, well, yeah. Then, yeah. then that's at the stage for X-Force. Yeah. And the funny thing is X-Force was turned down twice. I kept proposing it. And there's a guy in marketing who will live forever. His name is Sven. S-V-E-N. Sven. <laughs> and Sven championed me. And he said, we should launch this book. We should not make it a new mutants book anymore. And you guys all made it a monster, monster hit. And uh, that just kind of then propelled me and my peer group. Todd was on Spider-Man, Jim Lee was on X-Men. And one day we had this really stupid idea of like getting together and making our own treehouse. And uh, 
because Marvel's branches couldn't hold us anymore. No, let's let's speak it. We're all in the bullpen. Yeah. So uh, so we created Image Comics. They shot off like a rocket. Thank you. And uh, you know the rest is uh, just been the best ride I could ever hope to be on in my entire life. Um, uh, from all the books we created in Image, and uh, and then I mean I've been like I said working 28 years nonstop and. Uh, the magic is still the same. Every time I draw, I'm, I'm, I'm as excited as I was back then. Well, now, what, what, what I'm interested in is that Hawk and Dove. Like, you came out, you didn't have the, the, the confidence, you said, to be doing these books. But in issue five, you did that thing where you made the book sideways. Yes. Because they were in another dimension. Yes. And you're like, okay, well, they're in this other dimension. The books are going to be sideways. And the editors came and cut out your panels and put them back in the right It's room. better than that. DC following Crisis. Didn't you guys remember Crisis? Yeah. Crisis on the Earth. We're going to reset everything. No more. Yeah. Oh, with Bullet Superman. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So, so everything was going to be consistent following Crisis. My good buddy Eric Larson, we launched Image Comics together. He was part of the, 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 the band that, that went crazy. Um, he had drawn that dimension in a book called Doom Patrol. And everything went sideways. So I'm just sitting at home going, well, everything's consistent now. So I should draw this sideways. And then the editor who wanted to be in Hollywood, and at the time there was a Superboy show. You're not going to remember this. It was on in the late 80s. I remember it in my nightmares. And they filmed it in Florida, and my editor was in Florida for a month. So then he comes back and he goes, you did this because I was gone. You did this. And I said, dude, I'm going to draw the X-Men. I don't care anymore. Like, I, those issues, those pages were fantastic. But he said, you're not going to turn this sideways on me. And I'm like, but the previous one, the like three, in three months ago, the dimension was sideways. That editor sucks, and that's stupid, and we're not going to do it that way. And I'm like, I'm so out of here. Where's my rocket ship? Me and DC have never worked out. Well, yeah, what about spirit animals? They even gave you Hawk and Marvel and Image are my spirit animals. Right, but they also gave you Hawk and Dove again with the new fifth. I was also, I was the last guy hired. Uh, on the original Hawk and Dove, right. everyone turned it down. The only reason I got Hawk and Dove is because every one of my buddies is like, yeah, I was offered that, I turned it down. I mean, do you, so I was like, please, do you consider yourself a controversial figure in comics? I don't, but people right. want me to be, so okay. You can just play the role. <laughs> what is controversial? Is right. it my spiked hair? My piercing? No, I think it's the eyewear commercial. I mean, I, I just, I don't get it. I, I, but I, I'm the guy. So, I, here's the target right on me. And I think I'm they gonna, call it a meltdown when, when you just speak your mind on Twitter. They call it a meltdown. Yeah, if you're honest, oh no, he's having a meltdown. Right. Are you taking the pills, sir? Are I you am, taking the meltdown? Are you I am, I am, I am taking, I took the pills before I came. We got my belt back. No, you didn't. Look at you. You're like marching the chair back every time you jump. <laughs> no, you're the most manic energy ever. You're keep me jacked up. <laughs> my kid and I, we did coke in the car. Come on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> How about your kid? Sorry, sorry, Luke. Um, oh, they know. He's 14. Wow. Referees. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got it. Uh, the only kids in church aren't going to understand tomorrow. So okay. once you get new mutants, and once like uh, X Force hit number one, like, at that point, did you gain the confidence where you're like, I'm just going to be going? He never. He never. Did he still have that confidence? Never, no. You just. Um, everything that works is out of your hands. Right. And so anybody who's out there who wants to be a comic book creator right now, like, what would you tell them? Because you did start out at 19, and I have a story from where I shop comics. 18. That, or 18, where, where you would actually go and get the action figures and draw the action figures and learn the comics from posing. That's, 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 that's a complete bit. Okay, so, so you, how did you draw? How did you learn to draw? Here's the deal. I actually went to life drawing classes. Okay. And with one of the best life drawing teachers in Cal State Florida. And he would go to me and say, Rob, um, see this short little fat postman? We have a postman who would come in and... Uh, and his chest was like this. No, 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 no. In life drawing, the model stands naked for all those kids who don't yeah. know this. And uh, our guy, he's a postman, he loved it. He'd get up there bare naked. <laughs> but after you're done, everyone would turn their drawings around. And I, I, the guy would get excited during the session. It was normally 30 minutes. So depending on how fast you finished, he was in a different position, if you know what I mean. And, uh, Whoa. But I would give him like more musculature and my, uh, my teacher would be like, Rob, I, you can't make everyone a superhero. I'm like, yes, I can. But uh, <laughs> here's the deal. The comics I grew up with, when Todd and Jim and myself and Eric and we popped, we popped because comics had gotten kind of dull. Four panel grids, yeah. and we would break the panel borders. We would add speed lines. I tell people all the time. I did an interview like a couple weeks back, and I'm like, you know, I was so into manga. Uh, manga was my secret sauce. No one else was looking at all the Japanese and the Chinese stuff, and I was going to a, a, a place in Westminster where I would get up there, and they didn't speak English, and I didn't speak that, and <laughs> then they'd be like, uh, 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 uh. and then 
and then like, Let, let's add it up and, and I'll give you money and then we don't have to talk anymore. But I would carry like this many mega books home and that is how, yeah. like, like when you look at Cable, he's mega-ish. Um, I mean all that gear, nobody was wearing that gear and that was me trying to stand out. And when you see what Todd McFarlane was doing, we were trying to stand out. We were trying to break from the pack. And uh, and all the belts and like the pouches, is that you or is that Jim? No, that's like, when Jim wait, was come on. Oh, that's you, right? It's me. Hey, but like, I don't remember. Why did you get all the pouches? Like, I don't remember the panel where somebody's like, hold on, I got to get that thing. And like, ever use the panel. Dude, so I can, that, I can, that, I can, there's, there's many issues with that. There, right there. But, but Jim you're not, looking. On you're not like, looking. Here's the deal. I show people all the time, look at these SWAT guys. They have 10 pouches. Right. Look at military. They have pouches. I, I and in the books, they use them. The pouch looks good on But like, table never was like, hold on, my contact. Dude, Zero Dark, is that Zero Dark 30? Yeah. Well, those yeah. guys? Yeah, they're going after Bin Laden. They look awesome! They got the different See, scopes and everything. Yeah, it looks awesome! So I tried to bring awesome to comics. Yeah. You do, it doesn't work on Superman, because Superman just like, Superman, he needs his underwear off. Superman got a collar and a cape, right. but he's awesome. Right. Best, great costume. Like, one of the 10 best costumes ever. But you can't do that. Right. You can't do that. And you saw Incredibles. Yeah. You can't wear the capes anymore. No. <laughs> you can you imagine Deadpool with the cape? Oh, crap! Yeah. Boom, boom, I think, I think Deadpool's the kind of character who would want a cape so he could clown the characters that have a cape. That's right, that's right. Uh, Chimichangas, are you a Chimichanga fan or is that just something you give to Deadpool? You know, let's give credit to that. Yeah. I love the cape. My whole family knows I'm the Mexican food guy. Taco yeah. Tuesday is where I live. If you go to Frescas and Brea, they go, oh, life fellow. Right. Three times a week. But um, bottom line, that's a Joe Kelly thing. Right. He gave him the pension for the Jimmy, you know, credit where it's due. Um, so, Joe Kelly, I'm pretty sure, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I think that's it. And the, the, Here, here's what yeah, I tell people. people. <laughs> if you like the dead people, kills people, uh, has katanas, uh, costume, name, uh, background to Weapon X, um, is a smart ass, um, shoots people, uh, can turn on you and die, that's me. I'm your guy. <laughs> um, breaking the fourth wall, really talking to you, that's Joe Kelly, Jimmy Chunga, that's somebody else. The manic energy, I think, is you. What if, uh, Just look, look, bottom line, if, uh, if uh, the Terminator goes back in time and pops Fabian, you still get Deadpool. You pop me, yeah. boom, I'm dead, nothing. Because that, I was a writer. I right. wrote it, I drew it, I sent it in. Comics were different than now. That I read all the time on Twitter. We're at the committee, we're deciding, what the hell? They yeah, they're retreats, Rob, well, they're retreats. So, yeah. yeah, we didn't have a retreat. It was Todd, do this, Jim, do this, Rob, do this. And then it became corporate, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's great, it helps you sell the books. Yep. When the books aren't selling, one gets excited about the movie. Yeah, and, now, and, and Ryan Reynolds for, becoming for Deadpool. Five years, Deadpool. That Deadpool footage, you guys see that? The leap down the yeah. yeah. Thank you. You guys made that movie happen. You're yeah. That is you. Um, I was involved with you when I was the guy. Here's the, the deal. Talk to Following Wolverine 2009, is that it? Origins? Yeah, the Brock Um, Yeah, they, uh, the Donners called me to their office and said, Rob, we want to meet you, but we want to meet and talk to Deadpool since we're spinning it off. We want it, we know we made some missteps, we want to get it right. So I sat there with a bunch of uh, producers and we sat for several hours and we uh, talked about, you know, different ideas and I kind of tried to steer them in, in, in directions I think. I mean, for instance, I'll tell you, first question they said, Rob, does Cable need to be in the Deadpool movie? And I said, no, Deadpool deserves his own function and Cable should come in in his own movie. They were like, okay, because we were thinking about Cable. Like, no, you can do them both separately. They don't need to be in the same, same movie. Um, but look, we had a long talk. We had some ideas. I can't share them. Some of them made it across the finish line. And uh, then they were brilliant and hired the Zombieland writers. Those guys are fantastic. I mean, I went to see Zombieland like five times in the theater. I was like, this is genius. Um, and the Deadpool script is fantastic. Three years ago, the director, Tim Miller, he contacted me four years ago. Three years ago, he goes, Rob, I want you to come up and see what we're doing. And he showed me all the pre prep work. And then Ryan Reynolds is pulling up to film the scene that day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Cut to they, that footage is in the locker for three years. Three years. And God bless whoever leaked that. Whoever leaked it and goes to jail, we need to cheer them. <laughs> is happening as that guy goes in cuffs because the box guy told me Rob we have computer forensics we will find that person <laughs> and it's happening with Ryan I said Luke I have a computer what <laughs> would you say it's happening with Ryan like is he your Deadpool Ryan is Deadpool yeah. Ryan with that look Ryan Reynolds people have he's gone through that same career arc right the guy is ridiculously talented hilarious he, uh, has a huge huge 
compassion for Deadpool. Deadpool's not happy. Because he was a giant star, they said, Ryan, what do you want to do? And he said, Deadpool. That's why it happened. They would have no faith otherwise. That movie is because of his passion. And he put together the team, the writers. He, I, I think the writers, they would tell you that Ryan had been put on the script. Um, and Tim Miller is just a fantastic director. I mean, you've been watching his stuff on video game trailers for years, and now he's going to strut on the big screen, and it's going to blow your mind. The trailer did blow our mind. I mean, that little footage was that's, incredible. That's nothing of what you're going to see. That is such a... And you're still going to be involved in the movie? I, dude, I did my part. they got to shoot the movie. I'm not behind the camera. Good! Not me. What about Cameo? What about uh, Stan Lee to South Cameo? I'm up in the air. Like, you don't want like, that movie no, from you? Stan Lee, God bless you. The show is awesome. He likes to be in movies. Right. Like, look at Robert Kirkman. Is he in The Walking Dead? No. Is Mark Millar in his movies? So I, I'm figuring out who I want to be. Right. Probably if my daughter says, Dad, um, will you be in it? I'll do it. But she'll have to bring it to me. Now, what do you think about some of these Deadpool costumes? They're you awesome! You, 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 you say you want to bring a couple of these guys Let's up? Let's go! Come on, Deadpool! Deadpool's up. Is that all right? Can we uh, break the, 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 the fourth wall of the stage here? Uh, is, is there a way to hike these people up? GPTP, hey, you know, right here, guys. There's some ladder, there's uh, steps over here. Let's, let's get a little Deadpool fashion show going. Uh, We can rank them based on the success of their costumes. Like, we have a female Deadpool here. Uh, she's been using proactive. Maybe Deadpool right here. Proactive pull. Look at these little guys. Yeah, they're little murderers. That's wow. That's okay. great. Look at these psychopaths right here. Dude, how many people have you killed? Pouches. How many chicken tacos do you eat? What do you get, buddy? A hundred chicken tacos. Fantastic. You look fantastic. Wow. Buddy. Oh, you got guns out. Elizabethan style? Oh my god. When you see kids we, uh, as these this, oh, this violent the whole, character, the whole neighborhood is Deadpool. You know, I'm like, here kids, here kids, here's your candy, that's awesome. Is Deadpool appropriate for kids? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's go back to the Bible. The most violent book you ever had a six-year-old. Here, read it, Billy. <laughs> awesome! They're murdering people and having yeah. Yep, you guys are awesome in biblical proportions. <laughs> no, hey, great. let's give it up for these Deadpools, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, thank you guys for the LSE. The cosplay community is fantastic, and they have, I, I, we're going to give them credit for Deadpool too. They don't let Deadpool die. They are passionate, and that those pictures are seen. I mean, Deadpool really is, people go, who owns Deadpool? Marvel technically, but Deadpool is owned by the people. Right. He's owned by the, you can't stop it. And look at this, what's your favorite cosplay you've ever seen anybody do of Deadpool? Um, as another one comes right up. <laughs> Hop on up here. Come on, buddy. Hop on up here. Excuse me, sir. What is your name? Wait. <laughs> I think you gotta put up the sign. I love it. You know what? I, 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 I love all the Deadpool. I like, I like casual Deadpool. I like, uh... Oh, great. Armed, fully armed junior Deadpool. You gotta love unmasked, bad acne, scars, Deadpool. Yep. Uh, don't mess with me. Gear to the night. These two guys, Gear to the night. Love it. You, you look an awesome thing with the Madonna's. Um, awesome. Elizabeth <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool? Yeah, or a hoedown. Pride um, and Deadpool. Oh my gosh, and this guy's. Who has for Nate? Oh, you all for Nate. You all <laughs> Are you a little lady or a little man? Okay, okay I, I just couldn't tell from here. Your ponytail. You're awesome. What, what, what is your favorite part about Deadpool? He kills and shoots. He kills and shoots. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm in so much trouble. He's eight, 18, 18, right? <laughs> okay. No, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for coming up here. Wow, guys. Everyone, get a photo. You guys get a photo. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, Jazz, yes. Jazz hands up. You know what? You guys can sit here the whole time, I don't care. Yeah. It looks better. What yeah, panel can do as cool as this? Awesome what panel could possibly come after this? I mean, look at this. We've got a fashion, a Deadpool fashion show with Rob Lyko himself up here. So, oh, yeah, yeah. There are we're going to get tons of photos later. Wow. Um, look. Say hi to everybody, guys. That's Rob Lyko, creator Thank of you, Deadpool. Everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I think we got to thank him for everything he's brought us over the last 20 plus years of comics. Woo! You guys are here with him. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you.